Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we have $100 up for grabs, compliments of Affinity Federal Credit Union. Yes, it is a credit union, but don't worry, there is a way to make it nationwide. So, of course, we will cover that. So, as the offer, terms and conditions, requirements, and eligibility, everything you need to know to make Affinity's $100 become your $100. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, of course, this is going to be a referral offer, 100 for me, 100 for you. Uh, the link will be down below. It'll be the first link in the description as well as the first linked comment as well. I will also link to some companion articles from The Good Doctor, as I always do, because one, credit where credit is due. Number two, you know, it will help you if you need to help with the requirements, direct deposit, or, you know, other things like that. Again, I also opened this one about a year ago, so at the end of this, we will look at my data point as well so you can see what to expect on the payment schedule. But without further ado, let's get to work taking a look at the offer itself. And so really what they're pitching here is this 1% cashback debit card, right? So again, I mean, if you're in the market for a 1% cashback debit card, this will do the trick. But really what you're going to want to do, this is the landing page you get. Whatever you do, you're going to be sure to enter in the same email here that you're going to sign up with the account and you'll be good to go. Now, what else do you need to do to get this $100? Well, requirements pretty simple. Open Affinity Cashback Debit Account. Really, that's a checking account using the referral link. Uh, direct deposit $100 within 60 days of opening the account. And of course, this offer is going to be good through September 30th of this year. So you do have some time to jump on it. But again, with these smaller banks and credit unions, I tend to say don't wait around because they have they likely have a quota behind the scenes. And once they, once they hit it, they will retire it until they want to uh, do this do this offer again. So there's that. Pretty easy and to the point, of course. Um, I think when I did it, I did a legitimate direct deposit. But again, um, full articles down below where you can go through the comments and see. A lot of times, credit unions, they're easier to spoof than other ones, right? Because, you know, banks have more resources to put behind coding and enforcing these things. So, you know, you should be able to find something that will get the job done. But again, requirements are pretty straightforward. The big piece here is the eligibility. So when we take a look at this, you know, credit unions are known historically for being very community, very local based. However, first off, this is new customers only, as you might that might have guessed, but nationwide with an asterisk. So first of all, you know, there's going to be, you could, they have about 2,000 different organizations they partner with. And if you're in one of those organizations, then you're in automatically. Or you'll be one-time $5 donation to New Jersey Coalition of Financial Education or Connecticut Jumpstart Coalition, which everyone speaks to you. I guess I do financial education if I picked one just because of what we do here. It seems like we're the most paying it forward. So if you're unfamiliar, when you open up a credit union account, there's going to be a page that says, how do you qualify for membership? Because again, they're very local, very community based. And so, you know, your options would be, I work here, I'm related to someone who works here, I live in the community, or, you know, these these 2,000, these 2000 organizations, you can scroll through the list. Now, a lot of us, if you play this game a lot, some of us end up with memberships, believe it or not, like the American Society for Consumer Council or something. I know I'm butchering it, right? But I, I know that's one that I've seen multiple times, and I know I have a membership to it from some other bank that I signed up for. Another thing I will mention, they very rarely ask for documentation about memberships. It does happen. I tried a credit union in Virginia. They're like, well, we need your proof of membership. I was like, you can just cancel the account. I just wanted to testing my luck, see if it worked. Um, so they very rarely ask for that. You know, I don't remember if they ask here or not, right? Because um, I signed up about a year ago. Or you can make the $5 donation. Again, it's almost like an arbitrage play. Spend $5 to make $100. I'll take that deal every day. Plus that $5 should be uh, right up. You'll be able to be a tax write-off as well maybe offset some of these gains. So either way, I'm going to call this nationwide for not very much effort. So that is the eligibility piece. Now, when it comes to fees, the pretty good news here, there are no account minimums or anything like that. Uh, my accounts actually sat empty for maybe a year now, actually, until this program came back, no issue. But of course, you know, with, with credit unions, there's again, that membership share that's like $5. So usually with credit unions, as long as you have your membership share, they tend to leave your account open. Not always a guarantee, but in my experience, more often than not, so with that, though, there's also no early closure fees as well. Um, again, my account's been open for quite some time for the referral program, but there's no rules around you know how fast you can close it. Um, I would still say if you want to close it, you don't want to leave it open, then 90 days is usually the minimum just to make sure you're not upsetting anyone. Um, now with that, though, why would you want to leave it open? Well, the reason we're making this video is because of the referral program. Again, I understand that everyone has a referral network but or a show to refer people, but there are plenty of ways to, to build one. 
So the program here, if you're interested, uh, it caps at 10 people. I think it's 10 people a year. It's $100. Again, so it's an extra $1,000 on top of your $100, which could be beneficial. I do know a lot of people who play player one, player two style. Um, again, I will link to the doctor of credit because normally they make a companion post where you can link your referral. I put my referral link there as well, even though having this platform as well, because one, why not? Issue you run into over there is, of course, once you end up underneath the fold, which is basically called the fold, you know, you can see above the fold on the newspaper from back in the day you know if you're underneath the fold people can't see it on their screen it's probably diminishing returns given people probably aren't going to scroll to pick a random link but it's still worth a try i've talked to some folks out here who've joined other forums and other communities and refer them as well and that's that's all well and good you can easily send them this video and just say hey use use my use your link instead of mine that's fine still helps us both honestly so there you go. That's why I still have my account open. And so here we have the classic data point slide. So again, this was open back in November. Now the bonus was actually quite different. So you can see it opened 11.3 with 990 deposit. Um, so we'll talk about that in a second. It's about a thousand dollar opening deposit in a uh, total because of course some of it goes to the membership shares account. And this bonus again was a quite different because you see there's uh, about 10 debit card transaction requirements. And actually, believe it or not, it looks like three uh, direct deposits ended up hitting this so you have one in uh, the two in the red box here in January and December and if you go below that you know, in November 22nd that's a Google direct deposit from the main channel um, that is monetized this one currently is and so it looks like you must have had to do 10 debit card tra transactions and like three um, consecutive direct deposits of $500 each and then you can see on February 28th they actually paid out the $150 so at the time it was $50 more but it was for quite a bit more in requirements honestly um, and then again, for the payout range, it looks like they're paying out the end of the next month once the requirements are hit. So again, you finish, I finished it on January 12th, and at the end of February, they paid out. So at least it gives you a good date range to when to expect your payout. But again, these requirements this time around much easier, um, only for 50 less dollars. I have seen those of people saying, hey, there's a thousand dollar credit card funding. So if that interests you, you want to try to hit a sign up bonus for just some easy points, there is also that option as well. So with that, though, let's take a look at the summary slide to close this one out. And so, again, we've covered the uh, the Target Affinity Credit Union cashback account, basically a checking account nationwide. It's only as long as you make the donation or you hit one of those uh, one of those uh, organizations, hundred dollar payout. Use the referral link, direct deposit, one hundred bucks, no fees, and you can shut it down if the referral program does not interest you. And so there you have it, guys. That is Affinity Federal Credit Union. Again, I think it's an easy one. Yes, they had a higher bonus before, but that was a much larger direct deposit. This one just for 100 bucks, 100 and 100, I think is actually probably more reasonable given it was 1,000 for 150. But again, I leave it up to you. I just don't know when the 150 is going to come back, if ever, to be honest with you. But anyways, guys, of course, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, of course, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, posting content just like this every week, how to make banks money become your money. Question for you guys is, let me know if you're going to jump on this offer and let me know how you're building out your referral network if you choose to go through the referral programs. I'd love to see your thoughts on that. And of course, you might be helping out some others get even more value out of this game. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.